there rock stars, Eric Andreas, your guitar sage here, and I wanted to let you know about a series that I just got done doing in the Unstoppable Guitar System. So um, I'm gonna show you this in a nutshell, basically, because that whole series is uh, a series of videos that's somewhere between an hour and two hours long, uh, where I go into all the details about why it is that your guitar is going out of tune, okay? This is based off of 30 years or more of my experience talking with pros, studio players, live players, other guitar teachers, guitar luthiers, all on why it is that the guitar goes out of tune. Now there's some obvious reasons why it goes out of tune, but what I did is I wanted to exhaust the list, okay? I wanted to go everything that I could think of and anything that anybody else could think of in regards to why the guitar goes out of tune. And because of that, I created this series. I was just, this is how my mind works. I get on these tangents and I gotta, I gotta figure out all the answers to it. So um, I'm gonna share these with you today, okay? So really I broke these down into two categories. The guitar itself, duh, right? But then also you, okay? And, um, or I should say things that aren't the guitar, okay? So external, um, external variables, including climate and that sort of thing. So I'm gonna go over these really quickly, but if you want a detail of this, obviously uh, hit the, you can, you can check out the description to this video and there'll be some sort of information in there that's gonna show you how you can get to this, okay? All right, so first off, um, let's let's go right down the down. I've got my list here. I'm looking at it right now. So first off, strings. If you have old strings or new strings, they're both going to be a problem. If they're very old strings, they just won't stay in tune. They just won't. Doesn't matter what you're doing, they won't stay in tune because steel has an elasticity to it, and once it loses that, it just goes away. It doesn't work. It's like un, it's like the elastic on your underwear. Once it's messed up, it's messed up you know what I'm talking about, all right? So, uh, old strings, you gotta change them. That's all there is to it. You know it because you won't be able to keep them in tune anymore. When you have a new set of strings, you have to stretch them out. I have videos for that in the Unstoppable Guitar System. I probably have them on YouTube as well. Uh, just type in your Guitar Sage uh, strings, or tuning, I should say. Uh, but definitely, you can check it out in the Unstoppable Guitar System. I know that for sure. Um, gunk buildup, so, you know, when you have too much uh, sweat and grime and that, what have you, on your strings, um, how they're strung. I won't go into the details of that because it's very uh, detailed in, in my video, but basically you only want to have about two wraps and you want them to wrap down on the spiral, okay? You don't want them to have, you don't want to have, you know, 17 wraps on the E string or something like that. Now you can have a few more wraps, but they need to be clean, they need to spiral down, but most uh, folks would agree that you really only want two wraps. Anything more than that, you're gonna have too much slack. You gotta stretch the strings out, okay? So the wraps, uh, sometimes I will tie a knot on the high strings, definitely on the E string. Um, I have a video for that in the Unstoppable Guitar System. By the way, I keep mentioning that. You can get in that for free, or for a dollar, I'm sorry, for one dollar. So check that out. Um, lots of detail here that I won't be able to cover in this video. Okay, the nut. Uh, if the nut is improperly cut, uh, meaning it would pinch the strings, you'll notice when you're tuning your string and it'll go ping, it'll make a noise like that then uh, you know that the nut needs to be filed down a bit. Sometimes they can have burrs or it can hang on the string a little bit. So you want to have your favorite uh, guitar luthier or uh, repair man fix that, repair woman, whatever, whatever you need to do there. Okay, same thing with the saddle. You can have, it can hold on to, to the string a little bit. So you need to make sure that those are uh, set up right. Uh, sometimes a slight filing, not something I would do. I don't like to mess with that. I like to have my guitar guy do that. Um, and then also you can use something like Big Ben's Nut Sauce. Yes, I did say Big Ben's Nut Sauce. Or you could use something like um, liquid Teflon or graphite from a pencil in these areas where the string is touching. That will help a lot, especially if you're using like a whammy bar or that sort of thing, okay? So that's one thing that I talked about. Uh, the tail piece, so um, not on this, but say like on an electric, you're going to have um, 
you know, in your whammy bar, there's springs, there's all sorts of bits and pieces. I won't go into all the detail of that, but basically, if it's a floating whammy bar, you want it slammed. You want it to touch the wood back here so that uh, if you were to break a string, it's not gonna tug and pull all the other strings out of pitch, okay? Uh, pickup proximity. So if the pickup is too close to the strings, it will pull your strings out of tune. In uh, intonation, you're gonna have like kind of a, a wonky type of sound. So if, you, if you're, you know, everybody likes to have this, the pickups as close to the strings as possible so you can get that nice sound. But uh, you wanna make sure that if they're, they're not too close, you're, again, your guitar repair, guitar repair person will help you with this. Tuning pegs, a lot of people think it's a tuning peg problem. Sometimes it can be. If you have faulty tuning pegs, uh, vintage tuning pegs, then you're, you either have to replace them, which you don't typically want to do with a vintage, or you gotta tighten them up, and there are screws on them that you can do that. They gotta be hugging the, the neck, they gotta be attached to the neck well, and the gears inside of them need to be fairly tight. So I go over all the bits and pieces in regards to that in that series. Intonation, okay, the guitar needs to be intonated. That is basically the distance from the nut to the bridge. On acoustics, it's pretty set, but you can see uh, most acoustics will have a compensated bridge, okay? And that helps to keep the, the note in tune. So even though you tune the guitar up, the intonation needs to be there. Okay, you can um, go to the yourguitarsage.com, I'm sorry, Unstoppable Guitar System, link is below, and I'll show you exactly how to intonate your guitar, okay? Uh, capo, so a clamp on capo like this is not variable, so it's going to clamp the strings however it's gonna clamp the strings, unlike, uh, say, a variable or adjustable capo where it can you can give it just the amount of pressure that it needs to actually hold the strings down so that's really important that you do that um, that you have especially for electric guitars on acoustic it doesn't matter as much because the th strings are thicker and the guitar is more forgiving but when you're playing in the studio especially with an electric guitar and you go to put a clamp a capo on it typically will go out of tune you need to know how to put the capo on there's a trick to it I go over that unstoppable guitar system. Um, also, um, need to get an adjustable capo, okay? So, for sure. Okay, the neck, uh, the truss rod, higher scalloped frets, loose neck, um, guitar strap tied to the neck, warped neck, these are all issues. So obviously warped necks are, are, are gonna put your guitar out of tune. The truss rod, there's a rod of steel running through your guitar. You need to have make sure that your guitar repair person uh, has that adjusted correctly for you. High and scalloped frets, if you're pressing too hard, that should be in this other category here, but if you're pressing too hard, you can press a string out of tune. Just by pressing it too hard. Scalloped frets or high frets, create more room to press down, and if you're pressing too hard, you're gonna put your guitar out of tune. Just by pressing, okay? You won't hear it as much on the acoustic. Um, a loose neck, obviously this is a both uh, glued on neck, so you're not gonna have an issue there, but like uh, say like a 60, 61 SG, somewhere around that, that era there, um, and other guitars where the neck may be loose, you're gonna have tuning problems. So check with your repair guys. Sometimes um, guitars are just like that, like the old SGs, um, okay? A tie on the strap of, basically, if you were to use a strap, come around here, and uh, folks that don't have a peg right here on their guitar, what they'll do is they'll take a, a, a string, um, like a shoestring, and what happens is that's hanging, so it's pulling your guitar, so it's gonna pull just like I'm doing like that, okay? Don't wanna do that if you can help it. Okay, so now the other category is you, what you're bringing to it. So I mentioned pressing too hard when you're fingering the chords, especially with electrics, you're gonna hear that a lot, so too much pressure, okay? Um, what else here? Oh, picking very hard. When you strike a string, strings will go up in pitch. So when you, the harder you hit them, the harder they go out of pitch. They go sharp, always, always, always. Um, and when you hit them hard, they do it more so, okay? Um, chemistry, so I've had friends of mine uh, that 
in college or whatever that would pick up your guitar and as soon as they played it that night, your strings would, would uh, literally, overnight, would uh, corrode. You know, they would turn kind of rusty and you drag your hand across them, you felt like you were gonna cut yourself. They felt like barbed wire. And that is some people's chemistry. I'm not sure, I'm, I'm sure that has a, something to do with like a highly acidic diet. Uh, that's you, cut down on animal products. They're highly acidic and they can cause issues with your guitar. You'll know it if you're that person, okay? Um, very few people have that, but I've run into that. Uh, climate is the last thing I'm gonna talk about. Um, humidity and temperature. So uh, optimal humidity range is gonna be between 42 and 55%. If it's anything below that, your guitar dries out. Anything above that, your guitar, your guitar gets soggy, okay? Uh, you may not be able to see it, but there are things that you can see on a guitar uh, if you're really looking closely, and um, you want to make sure that you stay in that 42 to 55 range. If you're in a very humid place, you want to make sure you use a dehumidifier to keep it in that range. If you're in a dry place, obviously, or yeah, if you're in a dry place, you want to use a humidifier to bring that that humidity up. If you're in a uh, a wet area, a humid area, say if you're in the rainforest, you wanna make sure you get a dehumidifier to take some of that moisture out of the air and keep it in that range that you want. Otherwise, you will have problems with your guitars, not only going out of tune and that sort of thing, but they can break. Yes, okay, and temperature. If it's not comfortable for you or your pet, it's probably not comfortable for your guitar. So make sure you're not leaving it in the guitar when it, or leaving it in the car when it's hot, that sort of thing, even if the windows are cracked, okay? Just like a dog, don't do it. You wouldn't want it, so don't do it to your dog. Don't do it to your guitar, okay? Now, I know that's a lot of information and there's a ton more. So uh, you can hit the link below. That'll bring you to an outline that I have or there are links in the description that'll bring you to an outline of this if you really wanna delve into this more. If you play guitar, you better be playing in tune because I don't care what you're playing. If you're out of tune, it's gonna sound like poop. Okay, so make sure you play in tune. I promise this series is gonna massively help with all of your guitar playing, live, uh, you know, in the studio especially. Uh, you gotta play in tune. So, Unstoppable Guitar System, make sure you go there. I'm Eric Andres, your guitar sage. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and all that good stuff. I'm here to help you. Please let me know how I can help. Please spay and neuter, be kind to one another. We can change this world. See ya.